Today's video, we are going to be doing this easy copper fall makeup look. Um, you guys know I've been sick like all week, literally since last weekend, so about a week, and I'm finally getting over it. So I'm finally able to sit back down and film. I actually filmed on what Monday, and then it really hit me with my sickness, and I couldn't film for the rest of these days. But today I felt better, and I'm like, I have to film. So I sat down and filmed this look. Also, if you guys want to see the hair tutorial on this video, it'll be at the end of this video because I'm sure I'll put the hair tutorial up before I put the makeup tutorial. Um, but yeah, this is just a just a copper look. Um, I wanted to do something very easy, you guys. Something that you could do. Literally three eyeshadows. Um, well, you could use three eyeshadows. I used more than three eyeshadows, but I wanted to do a simple look with just like a medium brown, <laughs> a medium brown lip color just to tie it all together. So I hope you guys are feeling fall, pumpkin spice ish. I had my first pumpkin bar of the season, and I'm like. Yes! <laughs> I absolutely die for pumpkin bars. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! You guys, welcome back. So we are just going to go ahead and get started. We're going to prime our lids with our Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Deep. As you guys know, I have to, have to, have to use concealer to prime my lids. I just have a little bit of discoloration on the lids, so... Cancel, uh, the concealer cancels it out really well. I'm just using a P80 angled brush from Sigma. And then I'm going to take the shade Sidekick from Makeup Geek with the Sigma E35 blending brush. And this is the lightest, warm, kind of reddish brown shade that we're going to use. So I'm just working this up into the upper crease area and then I'm going to go in with a pretty bar pink martini brush this is like a small blending brush and I'm taking Sienna from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills it's just a little bit deeper and darker of a reddish brown so I kind of wanted to build that transition kind of crease shade because I'm really only going to be using these reddish brown shades so after I apply that I go in with Cabin Fever, and this is another Makeup Geek eyeshadow, and I am taking that on a Morphe brush. This brush has a point to it, but it's also really fluffy at the base of it, so it helps to distribute the product where I want it and also buff and blend it out. So now I'm using Game Face. This is a ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow. They recommend that you use these shadows with your finger, but I'm just a creature of habit. Ever since I've ever tried them, um, I've just always used my brushes. So I'm using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush that you can get from Target for like a buck um, and just applying that all over the lid area. Then I'm taking some NYX uh, Slide On Glide On Pencil in black and just tight lining my upper lash line because we're not going to be doing lash, or I'm sorry, we're not going to be doing liner. And then I'm using my It Cosmetics uh, Superhero Mascara. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara. I haven't found anything that I love more than this mascara. So I'm coating my lashes and then for lashes I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes. These are my favorite natural kind of wispy lashes. So after that I'm going to prime my skin and I'm using my uh, Dr. Brandt's Pores No More. This is a luminizing primer. My skin, um, ever since I was sick, my skin has feel, has been feeling a lot more dry. It could be also that the weather is changing a little bit here in Illinois. So I applied that to my face. And then I used my um, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade Mocha. This foundation is way too, like, it's too, like, reddish-orange for me. Like, it, I don't know. It just has too much red and orange in the undertone of the foundation. But I do love the foundation as a whole. So I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender, um, pouncing it into the skin, making sure I have an even coating all over. And then I'm using, once again, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to highlight the high points of my face, just to bring some point features forward and also give me that kind of snatched look. So... After I blend that out with my beauty blender, I set it with the Sasha Buttercup. And as you see, I apply excess amount of powder up the side and down the bridge of my nose. That way it's going to bake and also slim down that um, slim down the appearance of my nose when I go in with contouring. It's just all an illusion. And here I'm just applying more powder to further do so. Uh, then I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette with the Pink Martini, or uh, the Pretty Bar Peach Bellini Brush. This is a big powder brush that I love to contour slash kind of bronze up the skin just give an overall contour as opposed to like a defined and structured one then I'm using my Sigma E39 buff and blend eyeshadow brush and I'm taking that 
along the sides of the nose. I do press the powder into my skin with the Beauty Blender so I don't swipe it away or anything like that. Then I use my NYX blush and this is in the shade Cinnamon. It's just a nice pretty warm orangish kind of shade. It ties in with the eyes. And then I go in and highlight my skin and I'm using the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette. And I mix the two highlighters. First I go in with more of the darker kind of bronzier shade and then I go in with the lighter shade right on top to give more of that kind of pow like boom out there kind of highlight so I'm also using BH Cosmetics fan brush and then I'm using it on Sessie Beverly Hills brush that comes out of one of the palettes for the nose and then I'm using this Project Beauty spray set and go it's a setting spray and then I'm going to move back up to the eyes and I'm going to apply this slide on glide on pencil from NYX in the shade um, copper or something like that penny copper or something along those lines and then I'm going to take cabin fever it is the darkest shade that we applied into the crease and just use another Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and just smoke that on the lower lash line this is keeping it really tight and firm then I go back in with that Morphe brush with a little bit more of cabin fever and here I'm just really really smoking that lower lash line out making it really diffuse and also connecting it out into the outer corner then I'm going to take that same highlighter out of the Carly Bible palette and apply that to the inner corner just to give a little pop and also to tie in the whole look. And then now I am moving on to lips. So I'm using a Lime Crime Velveteen. This is in the shade Salem and it is so stunning. It's kind of like that um, burnt orange reddish brown kind of shade. It's It just tied in the whole look. So these also last forever, you guys. They're pretty darn good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe before you go. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.